All right, what is up, YouTube? I'm Cordy. We are here with Peter Brown. All right, Peter Brown, what are you playing today? I played Danger, Orchids, Fish. In that order. Uh, in order of the, 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 the yeah. fish was so unenthusiastic. Yeah, well, it's a pretty enthusiastic engine. It, the, the, the enthusiasm is self evident. Beaver or bust? Beaver or bust? <laughs> Beaver's crazy. All right, let's dig on yeah. into this. All right, so, um, played. Oh, an Orcus engine. One. Yeah, ooh, these cards are cool. Two of the this one, Ooh, two nightmare. Form, yeah, four cards are cool. Shout out to the boys in Berlin. So I played, I played standard Orcus engine. Okay. Um, I guess the crazy is these cards. So the fish cards. So three angler, three beaver, and then two sunfish. I borrowed one and okay. then it, it vanished. All right. So tell me, um, tell me about uh, beaver or bust the deck. So, well, I think the good one is angler personally, but e but beaver's good too because beaver's a one card orcus combo like independently. It's because when beaver's normal summoned, you can summon a level three or lower nimble from your deck or grave, and like it's just like. That's really strong. That's an Orcus combo. You go, you go Cerberus, and you go to Mermaid, and then you're fine. Okay. This is the crazy one. Um, so this card's not with return. When it's sent from the deck or the hand to the graveyard, you summon two nimble monsters from your deck. Okay. That triggers off um, the Nightmare discards, uh, the Dangers, and uh, Mathematician. And this card's like really, really crazy. And it lets you like it doesn't seem like immediately like crazy why it is, but like if you're if your goal is like the Orcus combo, these are really easy Orcus combos to start, as well as it's good for like general link fodder. You can go into like the stronger links, like Boral Sword, Boral Load, even the BLS link, like a lot more quickly with these fish guys. They're really, really crazy. I really like them. Okay. Um, I might play three of these, I'm not sure, but otherwise, like because these are the better ones, I'd just play, play okay. these. It's cool. Uh, it's like kind of. Oh, it's definitely back. cool. Yeah. Nim nimble fishies. Nimble fishies, yeah. We're, we're in the aquarium. So I mentioned that Angler trigger off uh, Mathematician because it triggers when it's set from deck to grid. So you play three Mathematician. You summon this card, and they think that doesn't do anything, so they say it's fine. And then I send Angler, and they they have to read Angler, and then they're like, oh, that summons two monsters. I have to ash that. So this never gets ashed, but Angler does. So that's pretty funny. And I played um, the Dangers. So two of all the good ones is how to go back. Okay. Uh, two of the good ones. And then one Bigfoot, one Chupacabra, one Mothman. I thought that nine mathematically was like the optimal number, like around eight or nine. Um, was a good number to have. You originally, like, before these the, the good ones went to two, you just played three of all the good ones, and then that was it. But I thought nine was good, so I played these, because they're just generally pretty good. This one's the worst. I might cut this, but these two are really Really? Strong. I figured that'd be the best one for you. I disagree strongly, and the reason why is because, like, Mothman, I feel like, like, in an independent sort of way, if you look at your deck, like, ignoring the opposing player, it's good. But I think, like, as, an, as a player is, like, I don't know, like... You're giving your opponent a resource management. It, it, it's, it's a plus one for your opponent, basically. Yeah. Like, especially with, like, all the graveyard, like, mana, uh, graveyard cards in the game, like Metal Fusion, all the Orcus cards, like, a lot of the combo decks. Uh, I feel like Mothman's, like, it's just kind of underwhelming. It's just a danger name. You hope they don't hit it. Uh, that's where it's the most underwhelming three, but it's, it's still better than the rest of ones. It's still better than Thunderbird, uh, Dogman, the rest. So. Only real men play Dogman, right, Kane? Yeah. Damn. Um, and then, um, this was crazy today. I made three Nibiru. Three Ash, one Ogre. Um, this card is, whether or not this is the best of all the promos is like up for debate still, I think. But I think that in this specific deck, this one's the best and it's not close. It's mostly because the big downside with this card is that you usually summon like an 11,000 token or something to your opponent's side of the field. But Dingirisu is like such an absurd card that like it's really easy to just to remove the token. But Dingirisu and, and Cerberus get around that. And even like Boral Sword, like you can like kill them really easy with, uh, with Boral Sword getting attack of the token. Um, Nibiru is crazy. A lot of times, um, it's been like the locals today. I would like let my opponent do the whole thing, and then during the rent phase, I go Nibiru, <laughs> some Nibiru in my field, and I just kill him. It was like yeah, that's literally how it went. Um, Nibiru is really, really great. And then um, Ash is generally pretty good. And then you play one Ghost Ogre, both because it's kind of good, but the, uh, it's. I mean, it's not consistent to draw one, but it's mostly because you want to summon it with Mannequin Cat, which is the card I'll be showing in the action deck later, so stay tuned. <laughs> uh, three twin. Uh, Angler triggers off, uh, off off twin, which is pretty good. Uh, Angler's the best card in the deck. Angler's crazy, yeah. Like, Beaver, Beaver's nice, and Beaver's the one card orders combo, but like, Angler's the crazy one, where like, you reveal danger, and then 
um, and Angor gets sent, you summon the danger, and then you summon two more guys. And then that's like, that's a lot. That's like you have access to your whole deck right there. Like, that's crazy. Like, it, it's not like immediately clear that it's great, but just like with like new Yu Gi Oh! where like with Link Fodder, it's just good. And then two last Orcus cards, Babel and Crescendo. That's, that's all How do you like in Babel? How do I, what's the question? I said, how do you like Babel? It's good. It's, it's pretty, pretty unfair. <laughs> the Orcus cards are crazy, yeah. And Babel, Babel making the whole deck quick effect is, is crazy. Playing on your post. Yeah, it's pretty self-evident. I mean, if you play Orcus, you're playing these. Like, it's, it's fine. All right, so, so that's uh, 40, 40 main deck. Okay. Um, for the extra deck, I play um, Ritea. Um, where the third one is. There, there's a third one here somewhere. Okay. The cool production quality. Uh, hold on. Yes, yeah, same. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Uh, <laughs> so, three he's, nerv he's nervous. <laughs> it's his first, it's his first, time. <laughs> first tournament, kind of nervous, yeah. <laughs> uh, two Dinger City cards are crazy. Uh, nightmares. Um, yeah, nightmares. Um, I like. Uh, honestly, how do you like this? Because I know a lot of people were cutting this. Good enough. There's no. They, I would argue that this is the 14th or the 15th card in my extra deck, and okay. be it, like, I don't know. What I mean by that is that like, if I if there's something else that needs to come in, this would be like the first or second card to cut. Yeah. I think it's fine, uh, but I think like in this specific deck though, because you have so much fodder with all with all the fish cards. Yeah. That like being able to just like one by one going through all your points back row, starting with a phoenix and then going into a unicorn, I think is really good because it doesn't care if you discard your whole hand because all the orcus cards match. Yeah. Right? And plus all the water monsters are gonna be able to trigger too, basically. Yeah. I think I think that. Um, um, unicorn, unicorn's fine. I don't know. I, I just good. mainly wanted to ask that question because it's something I've been seeing in a lot of deck profiles as of late. Just unicorns starting to disappear more and more. I don't know. But like, what would you play instead? That's the thing. It's just like I'm not sure. I'm not sure what you would replace instead of these That's unicorn. Fair. But like, but like, it is yeah, like it's definitely cuttable. Like it's 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 in the bottom of of the hierarchy of good cards. Um, and for better link monsters, the actual good cards oh, that the fish card summons. This card's crazy. Oh, that card is nuts right now. Yeah, that card's, that card's crazy. Um, Nightmares, uh, both Nibiru is, he's a high level, uh, Nessie is a high level. Oh man, you can make it immune through Nibiru. Yeah, Nibiru and, and, and Nibiru too. The card's, this card's, I'm sorry, a lot, a lot of that card, a lot of decks actually like, randomly don't have an out to this. Like, um, if um, Salad only has an out to this, if they're able to, like, uh, they only have a reasonable out to it if they play Borlog, which is not a given because Borlog's not a fire. So like, some of them play an Yeah, I don't know why you'd be you playing Borlog. So, well, I mean, like, you also fuse in fire away, but that's also yeah. not a guarantee that they play it. So sometimes you just rob, drop it, and they're like, oh, I don't have an out to this. Most I'll cut you anyway right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Play off low. So if you if you're open kind of crazy or you're afraid of uh, Nibiru, you kind of summon this card. It's just a good. It's a better stun monster than the other Link Force, the two that kill. And these obviously for Orcus because they're darks. Yeah. You some of these. It's these are pretty pretty self evident. They're pretty higher high up in the hierarchy of good cards. The crazy card, Mannequin Cat. Alright, okay, So what's this thing actually? So do? Mannequin Cat. When you're so the the, the when your opponent special summons a monster. You can detect uh, your material target that uh, one monster they put, they control. Then, when resolved, you summon a monster from your deck, from your hand, deck, or graveyard that has the same type or attribute as the monster that you targeted. Okay. And the, it doesn't seem like immediately good, but what that means is that. You, when they opponent summons a monster, you can target that monster or something else on their field and summon basically anything that matches that type of attribute. And it summons a lot of cards that were not meant to be summoned. So those all come up in the side deck. So it, it basically also matches for Orcus, right? Yeah, so so if I, if my opponent summons a dark or a machine, I can target it and summon any new Orcus card from my deck. Okay. If my opponent summons a light, I can summon Ghost Urger from my deck. And Ghost Urger is like free disruption. Like Ghost Urger is good when it's on the field because you can trip yeah. it for its on-field effect. Um, There's no level restriction on it, right? On, 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 on this card? Yeah. Anything. Oh, wow. It summons. It summons a lot of cards that were not intended to be summoned from the deck like that easily. So it's like it's it it's 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 a good surprise factor too. It, it usually only works once because once you summon it, people look at it and like, oh, the card doesn't do anything. And then you summon Goliath against them or Christia or an Ogre, and they're like, wow, that's pretty cool. And then they lose. Uh, yeah, I Goliath Kane. So that's cool. Okay. He, he, he didn't see that coming. Right? Yeah. It's cool. It's cool. He, he, he destroyed me with that and the one Ogre in his deck both games. Yeah. Wow. Uh, yeah, okay. so that's, that's, that's how that goes. Let's see the side deck um, So, let's do that. Um, and so a lot of my side targets are, are just targets for Medicine Cat that I can like put in based on the deck that I'm facing. So I'm facing, um, we'll do those first. Uh, if I'm facing Salad, I play Reclusia because it's the best fire. Uh, none of the Cyber Scrubs are worth summoning off Mannequin Cat. It's the best fire. Um, you usually summon it in their combo where if they, Baylinks, 
And when they summon the Mirage Stalio, they typically don't have a Bailing Sun Grave once they summon Mirage Stalio, so you summon it in that instant, summon it to the zone that Galatea points to, pop Mirage Stalio. Okay. Um, again, these kind of things only work once, but like in a in like like a bigger event, especially if you're playing people that you, like you don't know, like that's really effective. Um, because like that can make all the difference. Because now, now you're yeah. Um, uh, Goliath, you summon it as like a dragon deck, and decks that summon Earth and either extra deck. Um, usually it's the dragon thing against dragon decks. Um, Thunder Danger. I summon it against the Pendulum deck. I wait until the Pendulum summons um, either Dark Worm or um, the Empowered one, and I summon Goliath. You can do anything. Um, this one's probably the best of, of all of them that are in here. This is Christia. Okay. Also, also had to be had to be taken. Um, Christia is like generally pretty good, but not that a lot of light decks. It's also a spell counter. It's my favorite one because it's a machine. It's a wind, but it's mostly because if it's a machine. It triggers off all the Sky Striker links. So you summon Mankind against Striker, and then they summon any Sky Striker links, and you summon Spell Cancel. And they're they they're like, wow, that's game. And so they lose. So yeah, it's crazy. It's it yeah, Mankind Cat, the, the philosophy that it summons a lot of cards from the deck that were not intended to be summoned. So that's really strong. So I really like that. So um, for the other shenanigans I played, I played three Phantasmae. You play Bricks because of the fish cards, but also because like I think that with Nibiru being unreasonably strong in an Orcus deck, I like playing these cards against like a lot, like most decks summon more than five times a turn. I like using this and drawing into Nibiru and then Nibiru them and then doing an Orcus thing. I like that a lot. Um, couple, but good right now. Mainly afraid of Orcus mirrors because there's no. I'm mean, like, I've looked into like some of the cards of this. Like there are a lot, like there are a lot of ways you can improve upon this. Like this is by, by, by no means a soft deck. Like what cards would you summon in the Orcus mirror with Madigan Cat? I'm not sure. Like I, I I don't know the answer to that. It, it's a tough it's a tough call. You summon Gizmak, you summon you summon this. It's dark. You know, there, you can't summon Eddie's. You can't summon Eddie's. Yeah. Um, so like it's it's hard to tell. So because of that, I feel like this card's not. Great, unless like someone finds something crazy, like oh, what's possible. Um, I played this for the mirror. Okay, it's Lance is crazy. Also, that's yeah, my, my last in the You bang your tops, back or decks. You can summon a <laughs> mannequin cat <laughs> against uh, it's an earth, and there are a lot of earth monsters. And then, uh, to cosmic to not lose to back or decks. All right, any uh, final comments, sir? No comments. Yeah, thoughts on the deck? It's pretty good. Uh, got the idea from Stephen Logan at Island Games. Uh, he played this deck at Nationals. Uh, he got out of his mind, but he did play Mannequin Cat. The card was not out yet. And then I saw the uh, Broodhorn, the fish deck, so we play Mannequin Cat. The Mannequin Cat's cool. I like it a lot. You go Mermaid, summon um, Mannequin Cat to the zone that Mermaid points to, and it's really good. And uh, I like it a lot. Um, pretty happy about it. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out. The ride never truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a trouble shuffle instant all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome banger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.